Hey, there it's me Eden. If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to my channel and visit my Patreon page for early access. Link in the comment, thanks. Do you like it? Anita asked me, giggling. Like it? I mumbled, still in shock. I don't know about that. But you have to admit it looks good. Anita said. I glanced from my reflection to hers in the mirror. She still looked eager and happy with my state. Well, I mumbled again, struggling for words. I suppose it's not too bad. But I didn't think I'd look so, I hesitated. Realistic, suggested Nikki, giggling from behind me. We told you that you looked like a girl, Anita added smugly. Well anyone would look like a girl with this much makeup on. I said, struggling for some sort of solace. I don't know about that, said Nikki. You look more like a girl than I do sometimes. Me too, added Anita, and they both laughed. I turned my head slightly to the side. I could see that I was blushing profusely at their teasing. To my embarrassment my bunches bobbed as I moved, and I felt the weight and clammy heat of the wig all the more. Well I think you're very brave doing this for us, announced Anita, and with that planted a delicate kiss on my cheek. I blushed even more. Mind his foundation, warned Nikki. Well he deserves a bit of praise, Anita said, by way of justification. I was in shock, Anita had kissed me for the first time, because I looked so good as a girl. Where was this heading? Well if you've finished admiring yourself, Nikki said, with a slight sneer in her voice, let's get on with the clothes. We've got a lot to get through you know. Yes, agreed Anita. Come on Steve, let's see what you look like in the girls' school uniform. We walked back through to the living room from the hall. Well before we start, said Nikki, I think we'd best check on the uniform rules. Good idea, agreed Anita. We don't want them taking points off because we've inadvertently broken some rule or other. Nikki sat down on one of the armchairs, and Anita and I sat on the settee as before. Nikki retrieved the papers she had been reading earlier and began sorting them through. Here we are, she said, holding three or four sheets and putting the rest down on the coffee table. That's a lot, I observed. We're bound to break something if they're that complicated. It's not that bad, Nikki said. A lot of these rules are about game stuff and things like that. We don't need to bother about those. No, agreed Anita, unless you want to wear the school tennis skirt or something. Both girls giggled at the thought of this. No thanks, I said, bluntly. I didn't want to wear any skirt, but the thought of the short white pleated tennis affair that the girls wore made me shudder even more. Okay, well let's see what we've got, said Nikki, in a business-like manner. Right, girls. That means you, exclaimed Anita giggling again. Yes, said Nikki. Girls should wear either a plain gray or black skirt, or the summer dress, or plain black trousers. Well we know from the contest's rules that you can't wear trousers. Anita observed gleefully. No, so it's either a skirt or the summer dress. I don't fancy the summer dress much, I volunteered, shuddering again. It was a dreadful affair in a strange semi-tartan pattern. I agree, put in Anita. I think you ought to have a skirt. Me too, agreed Nikki. But listen to this as well. Hemlines should be modest, and no more than 8 inches above the knee, or 8 inches below. Gosh that's prescriptive, exclaimed Anita. I'm not sure if any of mine will be quite like that. Most of mine are short. Well the only thing for it is to measure it once it's on. If you pick one of your longer ones Anita, we might just get away with it. Well, I'll see what I can do, Anita responded, looking a little worried. Okay, said Nikki, looking back at her papers. Now let's see about his top. 
girls should wear either a plain white blouse and or a pale blue jumper or pullover. Well that sounds okay, said Anita. I've got plenty of pullovers like that, so I think we're fine there. What about a blouse? asked Nikki. Well I don't normally bother with one, Anita observed. Me neither. Nikki volunteered. So perhaps he could do without as well. I don't see why not, unless he's going to be upset by not wearing a blouse. She giggled and looked at me. I don't think so. Good, said Nikki. Let's see what else we've got to do. Girls should wear either plain white socks or stockings or tights in either plain black or flesh color. Excellent, exclaimed Anita in response. I've got plenty of tights he can have. We can even make allowances for him laddering a few. Oh God, I mumbled. Couldn't I just wear the socks? No, said Anita, looking genuinely horrified. You'll look much too young. Yeah, agreed Nikki. Girls only wear socks until they're about 12 or 13. You need tights at your age. Or stockings, exclaimed Anita, giggling furiously at the idea. I blushed again. Well he could do, Nikki agreed. That would really be something, a boy in stockings and suspenders. They both laughed uproariously again. I reckon he'd win just on the strength of that. Oh God, I moaned, well if it comes to that, I'd rather just have the tights. Well we'll see, exclaimed Anita. We need to think what suits you best. Yes, agreed Nikki. I scowled back at their eager gazes. Is there anything else? Anita asked Nikki. Yes. Footwear, girls should wear shoes or boots in either plain black, brown or dark blue. Well we've got plenty of school shoes that might do. Or even a nice pair of boots. Anita volunteered. Footwear should have a modest heel of no more than two inches. Nikki continued. Oh, said Anita, looking a little concerned. Well I might have some that would fit that. Me too, added Nikki. But we ought to find out what size he is. Yes, agreed Anita. What size are you Steve? Six, I responded. Tut, I'm only a four, said Anita with genuine disappointment. But I'm a six. Nikki said, triumphantly. Oh that's good. I was a bit worried about being able to get him shoes that would fit. Yes, agreed Anita, her relief showing in her face. Did you bring any with you? No, but I can easily go back and get some. It'll only take five minutes. Nikki responded. Yes. Well is there anything else we need to know about? Anita continued. Well let's see. Yes. It says here that unless specified otherwise, girls are expected to wear clothing that is suitably ladylike and feminine. What does that mean? I asked. I'm not sure, Nikki answered. I suppose it's to stop you, I don't know, wearing boys' shoes or something. Could be, Anita agreed. Is there anything else? There's a bit about makeup and jewelry, but we know that that's been suspended, don't we? Yes, the contest rules made that clear. Anita agreed. Well, I suppose that gives us enough to be getting on with. I'll just pop up to my room and get him the stuff he needs. Okay, said Nikki, and while we're waiting Steve, you might as well start taking some of that stuff off. Yes, agreed Anita enthusiastically, as she stood up and moved towards the door. She hesitated a second, and then left me alone with Nikki while she went upstairs. Come on then, Nikki urged me, take them off. Reluctantly I stood up, couldn't I wait until Anita's back? No, come on. We've got a lot to get through today. We need to sort you out a formal costume as well as the school uniform remember. The sooner you're out of that boy's stuff the better. 
I slowly began unbuttoning my shirt, pulled it from my trousers, and then slipped it off. Well at least you haven't got a hairy chest. Nikki observed, obviously pleased with the fact. Come on, we need your trousers off as well. I glared at her and sat back down on the settee. I began unlacing my trainers, one by one, and then took them off. That's the idea, Nikki said by way of encouragement. As I bent down to take off my socks, the hair from the wig fell across my face, and, irritated, I brushed it away. Nikki giggled at my efforts. I slipped my socks off. You're very good letting us do this to you, Nikki observed. I looked at her quizzically. Well, it's not every bloke who would let a couple of girls dress them up like this, is it? I shrugged by way of response, but said nothing. Come on then, let's have your jeans off as well. My jeans? I asked. Yes, you're going to be wearing a school skirt, remember, she reminded me. I know, but I'd rather wait until Anita's brought it down. I don't want to sit around without trousers for too long. Oh, you don't want to worry about that, Nikki said, reassuringly. We'll need to fit you out with a pair of tights first in any case. Or stockings. Anita added, coming back in the door with a carrier bag full of clothes. Is everything all right? Yes, replied Nikki. He's just a bit shy about taking his trousers off. Oh, you don't want to be shy about that, Steve. We're all girls together here, or at least, we soon will be. The two girls collapsed into fits of laughter at this, which went on for some time. Come on, Steve, Anita managed to say at last. Take your jeans off. It'll make things much easier. Slowly I stood up and undid the button on the jeans, slowly removing and stepping out of them. Steve, screamed Anita, your legs. What's wrong with them? I asked puzzled. Nothing, she exclaimed. They're really good. Yes, agreed Nikki. They're not too hairy at all, are they? No, added Anita. Have you shaved them just for us? No, I haven't. I replied indignantly, I'm just not all that hairy. You can say that again, Anita went on. My legs are hairier than that. Well, when I forget to shave them anyway. And they're a wonderful shape as well, Nikki added, walking around me to get a better view. Not too fat or too thin. No, agreed Anita, and you've got nice ankles as well. Quite delicate, she added with a giggle. Are you sure you haven't shaved them? Of course I'm sure, I replied with venom. Well you've really got a nice pair of legs then, she concluded. Perfect for wearing a skirt. Yes, agreed Nikki. If I had legs like that, you wouldn't catch me in trousers. Ever. Me neither, agreed Anita enthusiastically. Those legs are made for a skirt. It's a crime to keep them under wraps all the time. Yeah, agreed Nikki, warming to the theme. It's like those people who have a famous painting and keep it locked up in the loft where no one can see it. That's right, Anita said, still circling me to view my newly exposed legs. You really ought to wear skirts more often with legs like that, Steve. You owe it to the world. Yes, added Nikki. It's a gift, having beautiful legs. You shouldn't waste it. I was blushing furiously at this onslaught. The two girls were grinning broadly at me, and obviously waiting for some response. I'm not wearing a skirt. I hissed, breathlessly, at least, not except for this contest thing. Well that's a shame, Anita responded. Yeah, agreed Nikki. More than a shame, it's a crime. I agree, said Anita. Still, maybe when you've seen how good you look in one, you might change your mind. I doubt that, I mumbled in response. I'm a bit worried about those, Nikki said, pointing at my underpants. 
My pants. I replied. Why? Well, for a couple of reasons, she began. First of all, I think they're going to show through your skirt. You know, you'll have visible panty line. Oh yes, agreed Anita, I think you will. And they're a bit baggy as well, Nikki continued. You're not enormous, but I think that your thing is going to make a bit of a bulge at the front. Oh yes, it probably will, said Anita, looking at me very intimately. Oh God yes. In a tight skirt it'll look stupid. Well I'll wear a loose skirt instead. I suggested. No, I've only got tight ones. Anita countered. And another thing, although you're not going to like this Steve. Nikki added. What won't I like? I responded. Well, I'm not sure they'll fall into the definition of something suitably ladylike and feminine like it says in the uniform rules. Oh God of course they won't, said Anita with horror in her voice. They'll knock points off if he wears those. That's what I was worried about, agreed Nikki. Well there's not much I can do about it, I said. They're the only pair I've brought with me, and the ones I've got at home are much the same. I certainly haven't got anything suitably ladylike or feminine. No, but I have, said Anita, quietly. I beg your pardon? I asked. I said I have. I've got plenty of suitably ladylike and feminine pants. My mind word for a moment. Was I hearing this right? Was Anita really suggesting that I should wear a pair of her knickers? Well that would probably be better, Nikki went on. That way we could be sure he wasn't going to be penalized. Please subscribe for the next part. And visit my Patreon page for early access.